to. Okay, we're with Scott Smith here with SIG Optics. Scott, tell me a little bit about what you do here at SIG. Uh, I am the Vice President of Product Development, so um, I come up with a lot of the products and I manage the engineers that develop pretty much everything you see and obviously develop those products from concept through production and, and life cycle support. Fantastic, so you're pretty much uh, one of the guys that's responsible for all these binoculars, scopes, rangefinders, etc. from SIG Optics. Correct. Fantastic. So we're going to run through uh, the, the binoculars here. We're not going to hit all the binoculars, but we're going to hit kind of the, the lighter priced, the mid priced, and the most expensive set uh, here with exactly. SIG. So starting off here with the uh, Zulu 3, tell me a little bit about this binocular and what you've got here. Yeah, so this is a great, what I call a, a budget binocular, so you can get into it for about $300. We offered two models, an 8 and 10 by 32, so really good for, you know, uh, tree stand hunters, things like that. It's a nice ergonomic, open rich design, very compact and very lightweight. And I really like these binoculars from, from two perspectives. One, they've got an incredible amount of light precision for the size of binocular it is. You know, you get into smaller binoculars and sometimes the light quality is really, really horrible. I, this particular pair, I'm getting able to see a lot of light. The other thing I really, really like about these is the click through on their eye cups and they lock into place. So it really comes up to your eye very, very well and blocks out the light. Uh, and they're small enough you can fit in a side pocket. Uh, so just excellent from that perspective. Now coming down to the mid-level, you've got the Zulu 7. Yep, this is Zulu 7, and these are probably our most popular binocular. It's a, um, a high-end BAK, uh, BAK4 prism. It's, an, again, an ergonomic open bridge design, lightweight. It's got a nice texture on, on the uh, rubber grips, but again, very easy to handle and carry around all day. So for, again, even Western hunters, guys that you know uh, keep them on a chest strap or something like that, very lightweight, but absolutely fantastic optics. When you start with the Zulu 3, about 88% light transmission. With the Zulu 7, you jump up to about 92% light transmission. So for the price, performance, and the features, it's a, it's a great binocular. Yeah, these have a great feel to them. I really like the, uh, the ability to open them up, get my fingers in there. Uh, even with gloves on, I know I can go through and focus this really well. And again, it's got those click eye caps that come all the way through. Uh, just a nice light pair, come up to the eyes really, really well, and they've got a pretty good open bridge, so you can get your nose in there. So again, so starting the Zulu 3, we have an 8 and 10 by 32. With the Zulu 7, you get an 8 and 10 by 42. And now at the very high end of the line is the Zulu 9. So what's unique about these is they use a new type of prism that's starting to become po uh, uh, popular in the high-end binoculars. It's called an abiconic prism. You don't really need to know much about that other than it's kind of a long prism, but what it allows you to do is um, have a higher, li higher light transmission. So in this case, these binoculars are 95, have 95% uh, light transmission, so you're only losing about 5% of the light. It's offered in a 9 by 45 and an 11 by 45. It's a closed bridge design because of the shape of the, uh, the prism, but they are fantastic for Western hunters and guys that uh, are going to be glassing all day. And these are the binoculars that, in that last 15 minutes of light, uh, shooting light, these are the binoculars you're going to want to have in your hands because they're going to absolutely make a difference in being able to see game all the way up until that very last second. That 95% light transmission is going to make a big difference for you in getting to shoot that extra 15, 15 minutes. Fantastic. Great. Thank you very much, man. Scott, right. thank you for your time today. Appreciate it.